Calvin, do you want to join me? I'm going to multiply mixed numbers and fractions at Farmer Fred's barnyard. Yeah, sure, Maisie. Before we get to the barnyard problems, let's review how to multiply with fractions. Here you see 2 and 3 fourths, and I want to multiply it by 2 thirds. So remember, we just overlap them. So the answer is 22 twelfths. That's right, but we can simplify. Let's move these four pieces over here to make a hole, and then we'll move these two over here. So you have 1 and 10 twelfths. That's right, but remember, we can simplify fractions by dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number, so the final answer is 1 and 5 sixths. Oh yeah, I remember. Here's another example. A mixed number times a mixed number. Three and a half times two and a fourth. First I'll multiply the three times the two and get six. Then I'll multiply the three times one fourth. Then the half times two. Then the half times a fourth. Now we need to simplify, right? That's right. Let's put pieces together. So the answer is 7 and 7 eighths. That's right, Melvin. Very good. Yeah. Okay, Melvin, you get to try one now. Farmer Fred got six and a half gallons of milk from Daisy today. He used half of this milk to make butter. How much milk did Farmer Fred use to make butter? I'll get you started. Here's a model to use for one times six and a half. Well, then for half, I just cut it in half. That's right. Remember to simplify. Okay, I'll put the halves together to make holes. So Farmer Fred used three and one-fourth gallons of milk to make butter. Good, Melvin. Here's another one. Farmer Fred mixed oats with molasses for a treat for his horses. He had four and a half gallons of this mixture and gave an equal amount to each of his three horses. How many gallons of the treat did each horse get? Well, Homer here loves that treat. And since there's three horses, I just need to get one third of it to see how much Homer gets. That's right. Here's your starting model, one times four and a half. Okay, this time I cut it into three parts. And then I simplify by putting the parts together. So each horse gets one and three six gallons. That's right, but keep simplifying. Mm, oh, three six is a half. So Farmer Fred gave each horse one and a half gallons of the mixture. That's awesome, Melvin. Okay, Maisie, I have one for you. Farmer Fred built a square mud pit for his pigs to play in. The mud pit was four and a half meters on each side. What was the area of the mud pit? Well, I need to multiply four and a half times four and a half. So I'll start off with my one times four and a half model. Here it is. Where did all those parts come from? Okay, let me show you. First, I multiply the 4 times the 4 and get 16. Then I multiply the 4 times this half. And then I multiply the red half times the 4. And finally, I multiply the half times the half. Oh, okay, I get it. Now simplify, Maisie. Of course. I put my halves together and add up all my holes. I have 16 here, 2 here, 2 here, and then my 1 fourth. So that makes 20 and 1 fourth square meters. I think the pigs are happy about their mud pit. Okay, guys, it's your turn to work some problems.